Um, all right. So what we have is the sine of u equals negative 4 over 5. And what they want us to do is apply to figure out what the sine of 2u is. All right. So first of all, we need to know what um, the sine of 2u represents. Well, the formula for the sine of 2u, which is on page 287, which is the, the new formula, is going to be 2 times sine of u times cosine of u. Okay? So that's a new formula. You'll be provided with it. But this is just what you need to apply when you have a multiple angle. All right? So now the next thing is we need to determine what exactly our cosine of u. We know what the sine of u is, but we don't know what the cosine of u is. So we notice that this is not on the unit circle, so we need to create a triangle. But we need to make sure we create a triangle within our constraint. So it says our constraint is if here's 0, here's pi over 2, here's pi, here's 3 pi over 2. So it says our angle has to be greater than pi, but less than 3 pi over 2. So therefore, our angle, our triangle needs to be in this quadrant. Um, so it's going to look like that. Now we already know this is 5, this is negative 4. We know now the x is going to be negative. We just need to determine what it is. Thankfully, we know this is a Pythagorean triple. So that value is going to be negative 3. So therefore, I can now just say cosine of u equals negative 3 over 5. You could use Pythagorean theorem, but it's a Pythagorean triple. So it's a very common Pythagorean triple. 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 25. Oh. It's just a very common thing. Okay. So now you just plug them in. Sine of u, which is negative 4 over 5. Cosine of u, negative 3 over 5. Um, let's do, that's going to be 312, so it's going to be positive 24. Or 25. Done. With time left to spare.